Here's some reactions of what is going on at the sunspot. We're just going to go over uh, what the outer light has found and a little thing on Linda Moulton Howe and see the reactions on Twitter. Here we go. I'm just going to go over some people, uh, what they're basically the reactions on Twitter is. Uh, the Sunspot Solar Observatory being shut down due to child pornography being downloaded from the Wi-Fi. And um, I'm just going to put together some people. Oh, also, I have a video of the outer light. All these satellite images are covered in clouds. Uh, we have Linda Moulton Howe. I have a clip of her coming up. And I just wanted to go over this really quick. People of QAnon, do you think that a local post office also was evacuated by the FBI in retaliation to a janitor using Wi-Fi for unauthorized means? The official reason in uh, Mansionville as it divides the Q community into pedogate versus UFO. I'm going with UFOs. Hashtag sunspot. It's a joke. You don't empty the whole locality due to someone making unauthorized access to Wi-Fi. Post office closed. Residents evacuated. Need to have a better storyline. So much for the wild conspiracies, child pornography, reason behind Sunspot Observatory closure, according to court documents. The reason the Sunspot Observatory was closed has been revealed, and it is disturbing. Okay? Wanted to make you aware of this in case you want to include it in your videos. It's the cover sheet for the warrant for searching the Sunspot Solar Observatory, alleging knowing possession of child porn, knowing recipient distribution of child porn. And let's take a look at that. Maybe it's uh, more clear than the one that I read you this morning. Let's blow that up, please. And it is purposely blurry. Can you read that? Because I can't. Let's get it bigger. Knowing possession of child pornography, knowing distribution. Look at this. Why can't you guys give us uh, the thing that it, it, you could read? Oh, here's proof. Here's a search warrant. You can't read it. I mean, come on. Get out of here. Um, there's a big difference between what goes on between consenting adults and the rape and assaults perpetrated by Clinton, Weinstein, Ellison, and now by his own admission, Cory Booker. No, Sunspot Solar Observatory didn't see aliens. Child pornography reason behind Sunspot Observatory closure, according to court documents. So a lot of people are citing these court documents. Okay, like as if, oh, the court documents show and then everything, you know, Black Hawk helicopters shutting down of the whole thing, relocating people. It just doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. It doesn't make sense. Sunspot shut down for child porn is BS. When is the last time they ever used a Black Hawk and military presence for child porn? If this is a case, I expect to see Black Hawk over Catholic churches soon. Hashtag QAnon. Here's some more. Child pornography reason behind Sunspot Observatory closure. According to documents, I've seen the same thing, the, the same type of thing coming out from people and they just regurgitate the same thing. Oh, this is the reason. It's almost like bots or something. It's weird. And they always and they show, they show the same thing right here. All right. Uh, okay. Extreme close up of the sun sunspot. Let's take a look at that. It's pretty cool. Save that. Okay, blur. Not buying the child porn story. The Sunspot Observatory was a ghost town with no FBI combing the area. Video, Sunspot Observatory ghost town drone footage. The reason the Sunspot Observatory was closed has been revealed and is disturbing. Okay, so people are just, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't buy this. And uh, there's a lot of people here that aren't buying it either. Uh, let's cut to some other stuff. Unspot. This is Cloud City. <laughs> this is always covered in cloud since uh, 2000, of course, and 13. Here we are over in 2016. And it looks like it's pretty dry around there because you've got all these right angles. It's caught by, it's legitimately caused usually by something strange. Out here, doesn't seem to be any cloud at all in 2016, does it? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty dry out there actually. But again, if you come in, there you go. Big thing of cloud over it. So it's pretty much a very interesting thing that was turned up by one Reddit user as we can jump back to their post here. They've dated and timed it. 
So when you go to Google Earth or Google Maps or whatever and you go into this location, it's going to take you to the 2013 imagery back here. Everything after the 12th of uh, December there, or December the 12th, is literally covered in cloud cover since 2013. But it's interesting, when you go to it, it's always going to take you to the oldest imagery there, which was 2013. Why is it taking you to the 2013 imagery? Well, that's the imagery, I guess, where you can see something. But, of course, you've got more updated uh, satellite photos. Apparently, they are newer. But they're all covered in cloud. <laughs> Some of them look like someone just cut and pasted the cloud over top. I mean, look at that triangular cloud. That's impressive. News, largest employer. 65% of Alamogordo's residents are connected in work to the base. Holloman and White Sands have been intertwined with each other since World War II. As a bomber training base with centers for rockets and aerospace research, White Sands has also been the location for the United States Naval Air Warfare Center Weapons Division, which now oversees launch operations for suborbital space systems and research rockets. So we're talking about an extremely important Department of Defense area in the United States when you're talking about White Sands, Holloman, and where this National Solar Observatory is based on one of the uh, Sacramento mountains that looks right down onto White Sands and Holloman and that area. Now what is probably unknown to a lot of people is that the National Solar Observatory has one of the finest telescopes in the world. It is called the Dunn Solar Telescope and it was built first in 1969 and it was upgraded in 2004 with very high quality optics. It's at 9,200 feet on Sacramento Peak and the observatory is about 18 miles south of Cloudcroft. It has a long pyramidal shaped tower that projects upward into the sky and that is attached to a much larger underground base. The telescope helps astrophysicists study magnetism on the sun's surface. And it is funded by the National Science Foundation, operated and managed by the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy, known as Aura. And in 2018, it came also under management by the New Mexico State University that so far has not made any comment about this growing mystery of why on September 6th was the National Solar Observatory shut down by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And not only was the observatory shut down, but the local post office in a residential house was shut down by the FBI as well. Some people, I think rightfully so, are contemplating the possibility that there could be some kind of spy operation or computer hacking operation or something has happened to threaten national security for the FBI to come in, close things down, and not make any comment. <laughs>